So today I drove my truck about 40 miles to, um, well, 40 miles down the road, and uh, about 20, 25, 30 miles into it, right before I got to where I was going, I got a code P20EE. And I looked it up, and it's got to do with the emissions, and um, I haven't really got too far into it tonight, but I have to drive it tomorrow, too. And I've been home for a couple weeks. I haven't been driving the truck like I normally do. When I got home, there was nothing going on with it, and it's been setting. It has been idling some. I've used it a few different times, doing a few different things, and just walked off, left it idling. It's idling right now. Um, what I'm going to do tonight, just to kind of, I've only done it a couple times, and where all this started is at 200,000 miles. I was driving, I got tired. I took a nap in the truck. I left the truck running and I'm laid back in the seat, snoozing and I hear ding, ding, ding. And I look up and I see the message on the dash, uh, cleaning DPF filter, please continue driving. Okay. I was wore out dog dead tired. I wasn't going nowhere. So I went ahead and uh, finished out my nap left the truck idling and it was cold cold I wasn't gonna cut it off or anything like that I just left it idling and hope for the best ever since <laughs> it seems to have not seems to not be doing right you know it's it's fine it's just I've had to replace the knock sensor I had to place the DEF injector it got to using a massive amount of def I changed the injector that went back to normal but then I started getting the code for the bank one knock sensor. I replaced it and this is Lord 10,000 miles later and then I get this code today. Now I'm thinking it's either the rear knock sensor or something going on with the DPF itself which 233,683 miles it's probably getting about that time as bad as I don't want to hear that. Um, but what I'm going to do tonight, I have the auto sync. You can see that. If you don't have the auto sync, you won't be able to do this. But I'm going to force a regen on it because I need the truck tomorrow. And I want to see if I force a regen, will that keep the code off or will it come right back tomorrow? So uh, I'm going to plug this thing in and I'll show you how to do this. Um, if you don't have one of these and you want to look into it, it's pretty neat. I love this one, BT Diesel Works. Is where I got it from. Uh, there's also an auto sync discussion group on Facebook. You can look them up and see if it's something that you would like. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them anyway, shape, form, or fashion. I'm just a very happy customer. You know? So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, show you how it works, and do the regen and show you what I come up with. So I'm going to take the auto sync, plug it into the OBD2 port right here, which Normally it stays plugged in all the time because it does some has some pretty cool features. You see it pops up right there. Um, it said, well, I'll do it again just so you can see what pops up. Because I've made videos with the auto sync before and I've got comments that how do I get that screen up and I guess I just didn't explain that that's the only way it comes up is because it does have the auto sync and you see it right there. All right, now that you've done that, come down here to the rear defrost push this button four times this menu comes up on your screen next page well first thing I show is powertrain data um, the DPF level is at 71 percent I just don't think these things regen very good when they're not being on when they're not out on the highway and I haven't had this one out on the highway at all in about the past three weeks that was the most I've driven it this morning was over to uh, you know about 40 miles down the road and back so I'm back out of this next page next page uh, vehicle setup I think is where it's at DPF reach in now when that comes up you'll see it says um, Trans in park, foot off brake, 0% throttle. Exhaust area clear because it's gonna get really hot back there. Hood open, coolant at least 170. This may take up to 45 minutes. I'm gonna open my door and 
that way I can kind of get in and out. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the window down. You don't wanna be jacking around with the electronics while you're doing this because it will <clears throat> kick it out of regen. I'm also gonna cut my, my climate control off. And then I'm gonna hit start. And that really doesn't change, but this does. And I'm not touching anything, it's doing it all on its own. It sounds brutal. I, I hate doing this, but, you know, it is what it is. I feel like it'll help, so. this is gonna fix it it's not gonna fix my problem I'm just kind of hoping it prolongs it a little bit longer I've seen that P20EE I sent it twice today and I think on the way home on my last trip it popped up so like I say 230,000 30, 233,000 miles I'm still not complaining but it just really aggravating that it's happening but at the same time I knew when I bought the truck it had emissions that were going to give issues you know like I say as far as the auto sync goes if you that that right there has been a very very good tool to have because I don't have a scan tool I just use the auto sync itself now I'm going to hit home and then I'm gonna hit the four rear defroster four times again. Bring this up and powertrain data. And it should, it was at 70% earlier, and now it's at 22%. Um, so it has went through, you know, it went through a region. You can smell the death food burning off really good standing behind it earlier. And back and current DTCs no current DTCs that's what I like to see but I had cleared the code earlier tonight before I got home and you know, just making sure it hadn't came back that's super handy to have also coming right from the dash so like I said it was I got the uh, auto sync plus the BCM programming and I don't remember how much it cost. It was right around six hundred dollars for both. I think it was two ninety nine for the auto sync. This has been a while back. Though. It may have came down by now. I'm not sure about the pricing. And you know, whenever I cut the truck off, it'll automatically update. 
and you can make changes and stuff. It's pretty cool, but that's that's a good tool to have, especially when you're on the roads like me and you don't have a scan tool. Anyway, I hope this video helps. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like, share, subscribe. See you next video.